Praise the Lord. Welcome to this series titled Miracles from the Bible. I am Dr. Johnson Chiriyan. In 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 19 to 21, the Bible says, Then the men of the city said to Elisha, Please notice the situation of the city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is bad and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. And then he went out to the source of the water and cast in the salt there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. Another great miracle at the hands of Elisha the prophet in the Old Testament. Here people come to Elisha and tells him, The situation of this city is pleasant, Jericho. But the water is bad and the ground is barren. Now why was this city like that? Now if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, there are blessings and curses that are written there. And from verse 15 onwards to the end of the chapter, we read about a lot of curses coming upon the people of God if they did not keep the commandments of God. And that is what had happened to this city. The city was pleasant, but the water was bad and the ground was barren. Now what did Elisha do? Now the prophets of God, they receive the word from the Lord and they speak to the people or do things. Here we see Elisha telling the men who came to him, bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. Now when we think about this miracle, let us not think about the new bowl or the salt that is there. But it was the word of the Lord that had come to Elisha in that manner. And Elisha goes to the source of the water and casts the salt there, puts the salt there. It's not the salt that is going to cleanse the water. It's just a figurative act. But it is the word of the Lord and what is done together with that, that is cleansing the water here. And then Elisha gives them the word of the Lord. I have healed this water. It is not Elisha who is healing the water. It is God Almighty who is healing the water. And he says from it, there shall be no more death or barrenness. The curses that were written in Deuteronomy chapter 28 came into the lives of the people of Israel because they rebelled against God. They went into idolatry and they were suffering the punishment of God. But... We see God doing a great miracle for his people again. He is cleansing the water so that there may be no barrenness and the water may be cleansed. And when we look at our lives, we need to cleanse ourselves with the word of God each and every day. As we meditate on the word of God, the Holy Spirit takes the word and cleanses us. And that's why it's so very important to read the word of God, meditate on the word of God each and every day. But this is a great miracle that we read of in 2 Kings chapter 2. Elisha did many miracles and this is one of them where he casts salt into a water source and the water is healed. I believe that God is able to do great things in your life and in my life too. Let's believe in his word. Let's believe in his promises. Let's believe that he is able to do great and mighty things for us too. May God bless you with these thoughts this day. Praise the Lord.